welcome to this episode of Unbox ID. I'm your host, Asti Ng, aka The Designer. Today, we are here at Warhub's East Showroom. Now, they have two showrooms, one in the east as well as the one in the north. And the third one is coming soon. Step into the Warhub showroom and you will experience their three main core products. One, which is their wallpaper, wall coverings and their custom murals. Two, the cast stone brick walls. And three, the structural textured paint. So the thing about high-end premium wallpaper is that usually we want it to be tactile and embossed with a fair amount of detailings. And this kind of detailing and embossing actually creates this very premium look. Now when the light hits onto it, you will find the texture and the embossing kind of jumps out. And to prove my point about how premium and how textured this wallpaper is, I'm going to do a simple experiment. So in front of me right now, there are three types of wallpaper that's commonly used in Singapore. They all look about the same, but really the backing is different. On my right, we have the paper backing type. In the middle, we have the non-woven type. And then we have the fabric type. The disadvantage for the paper type is that it's harder to kind of peel off when you're trying to do a switch or a change. The non-woven and the fabric type right, basically are easier to do uh, the peelings and the change if you want to have a change of look. Have you ever heard of pasting wallpaper in the bathroom? Never right. Well here we have a wallpaper that's essentially coated with fiberglass and it's totally resilient in wet areas. So if you can think about it, you can dream about it, they can do this. So imagine you can have the wallpaper to clad over your ugly house in the kitchen, the balcony and even the bathroom. So to prove our point, we're going to do a water torture test. Come. So Warhub's second core product is this. This is the car stone brick and stones veneer. What is a veneer? A veneer is when you use a material traditionally that's thick and then we make it thin. So in this case, these are actually not real bricks but rather a thin veneer-like kind of uh, material that's used on the wall. So when it's thin, you can basically do things like this, which is a corner, right? That, so that makes it more realistic. But what happens when you have a structure that's round and curved? Well, you can use their bendable brick veneer. So if you thought of doing a industrial vibe kind of design for your home, you may want to explore these kind of bricks. They have 50 over designs to choose from, different colors, different kind of textures. And this will kind of give you that very rich and tactile quality that you don't get traditionally with wallpaper. Then when the light hits it, or you can see the grouts here, they will be more pronounced and identifiable. So that would basically drive the industrial look a whole lot more. So the third main product that Warhub sells is this. This is a strato textured wall paint. And what is a textured wall paint? So for example, you want to dress up your wall, but you don't want to deal with wallpaper, nor do you want to lay tiles. So this textured paint can be a very good substitute. So if you want to have an industrial look, you can get the grey cementy look. If you want to have something that is a little more classical, you can have a very stucco effect as well. Many, many varieties. 
Best benefit is that it's actually low VOC and there's no formaldehyde. Basically, that means that you will not get cancer from using this eco-friendly product. So here's a pro tip for you if you want to use wallpaper for situations like this. Now it's important to know how to terminate. Termination essentially is how you kind of like resolve the joints. And for wallpaper, it's quite an important thing to know, especially when it comes to peeling and denamination. And that's a big concern for people who want to use wallpaper. We have a corner, we have a wall, and we're going to apply wallpaper. First thing you need to know is to determine your traffic. So if there's a lot of traffic that's coming this way, you don't want to have your joint be facing this way because what will happen is that people will brush against the wall and you may have situations like that so what you can do is to try to aim for the bending to happen towards the inside this way when the traffic comes the peeling will not happen because they're not going to brush against it